Good morning. My name is Amy Shefford, and I'm here with Wake Up Winchester's News Flash. Today, I'm joined by Dana Brunn, and we are going to talk about how he started Mountain Patriots. Dana, thanks for being here this morning. No, oh, thanks for having me, Amy. Absolutely, Good to see you. my pleasure. Good to see you too. Um, so let's talk about Mountain Patriots. What is Mountain Patriots? Give us a little bit of background on, on why you were inspired to start this group. Okay, well, thanks for the question, Amy. Um, the reason I started Mountain Patriots with a group of people uh, was pretty simple. We saw what was going on in the COVID uh, lockdowns and everything else, and we watched our constitutional rights being taken away from us. So I ended up at a... A big conference called the Reawaken Tour down in Myrtle Beach with Clay Clark. And I listened to uh, General Flynn. And he said, when you go home, after you've learned all of this information, make sure you go back because everything starts not on a national level. It all starts on a local level. So I had the opportunity to talk to some really great Christian patriots by the name of Robert and Jamie Agee. And they started a banners for freedom. And I thought, wow, this is pretty neat. And he says, Dana, it's not that hard. All you have to have is the spirit of the Lord. The Holy Ghost will take you where you need to go and just go home and start this. So we started it on a on May 23rd on a Monday. We had seven people show up and we thought about what we could do for the community uh, to be able to literally take back our constitutional rights and turn our country back over to God. That's how it started. Wow, that's incredible. And so tell me, how many members do you have today? Well, we started with seven. We have a couple people come in and out. Uh, but when you put all of the Mountain Patriots to come together and are actually involved in this, right now there's about 75 of us. Wow. Uh, and it grows a little bit every week. On an, on an average week, we might have 40, 45 people. Rain, snow, sleet, hail, heat. <laughs> we all managed to get together and we discussed the topics that are most uh, pertinent to our community. So, yeah, unpack that for me a little bit. Tell me about what do y'all do for your local community? Well, there's a lot of things that we do. Uh, and and I, we have a story. It started with a cow. OK, and uh, not only was it the mask mandate, but we have a friend of ours that had a cow and they were literally saying, you know, in a, in a rural area, you can have cows in the city or whatever, but you can't have a cow in the middle of the country. So we were looking at our individual rights and how we could literally grow our own food and be able to be more sustainable. So I hooked up with someone else and then people were other people were having problems. We were learning on the news that the food supply is not what we think it is. It's full of GMO and it's full of all kinds of appeal and things like that that are literally designed to make you unhealthy that make the medical industry go. So uh, we started with food uh, was was one of the things. But what really got us started was the fact that a friend of ours ended up in the hospital and they were giving him uh, something they shouldn't give him. Uh, it's called Veclery, uh Remdesivir. And it literally flooded his lungs out. So I happened to be listening to a Dr. Artis interview. And uh, we literally rescued him from the hospital because they were using protocols that weren't conducive to his health. So it took about 11 wow. days and we got him out of the hospital and we ended up putting this together. And that's kind of how the group started. That is incredible. So if Dr. Artis is listening or if Clay Clark is listening or if General Flynn is listening and you ever wonder if if you're making a difference, uh, you are. are. Yeah. Look at this local group that has started um, in Frederick County that has created a duplicatable model. Mm -hmm. Anyone could start a group like this in their county, local Absolutely. level. So you meet, let me uh, understand this a little bit better. You meet every Monday mm -hmm. and discuss things that are pertinent to the group. And then once a month, you put on a larger, uh, tell me about what is Wake Up Winchester exactly. Okay. Well, it starts with the Monday group. And the Monday group is we all discuss where we stand our community stands on biblical values. 
whether it be uh, candidates that are running for school board, which we know we have a serious problem with that, with L- with uh, the the letters. I'm just going to say it: the LGBTQ uh, transfer transfer people's genders and uh, pornography in the schools, which was a big thing that we were dealing with. Uh, which we still are. So we were looking at what was going on with our children, which was very, very important to us and what they were learning. Uh, We looked at the food supply and how that works. We looked at the biblical values that are in our community. We looked at election integrity and why we felt that our votes didn't count. So we put together a group and each one of those people uh, handles something that has to do with either faith, family, freedom, our local community. And then uh, we decided that we could take this thing out to a larger group. So uh, looking at the Clay Clark model of Reawaken Winchester, we put together uh, Reawaken Tour, we put together something called Wake Up Winchester, where we were able to get other people that were more, everybody has a talent and everybody has a skill. So don't think that, that because, well, I'm this one person, I don't really know a lot. I can't be of use. But everybody has a skill and somebody has a passion about something. So the first one, we were able to put together something on the World Economic Forum, uh, Central Bank Digital Currency. What does that mean to our financial system? We had somebody talk about vitamins and supplements. We had somebody talk about farming. We had somebody talk about election integrity. We had someone come in and talk about the school system in Virginia and how that's being handled. Uh, so we handle a different, a whole array of different topics that are pertinent to what's actually happening in our community. And we figured that if we could do it here, it would be a duplicatable model for other counties and so forth. So we've been able to do that. And we've added other organizations to us that we've attracted. And I believe the Lord uh, handles things by attraction. Okay. Wow. These people are doing this, or I feel like that person. So we've been able to hook up with other organizations like the Black Robe Regiment with Pastor Gene and Pastor Bill Cook. They've restarted the the Black Robe Regiment. We have a lot of people that are joining that because that backs our spiritual values and puts the pastors back in the pulpit. You know, there's no separation between church and state. There really isn't. Uh, We also have put together things for, like I was saying, with the school boards. We have people that do that. Um, there's, there's just a lot of things that, that we're able to put together and uh, we look at the medical we have, uh, on Thursday nights, we all get together and we learn how to prep. We learn how to put food together. We learn how to milk cows and handle the farm. And we're all learning grassroots things, but everybody has a talent. So don't feel like you're left out because, you know, I'm not as smart as this person or, or I don't know what's going on. We learn as That's we go. That's exactly right. Yeah. We learn as we that go. Is, and it's so powerful because every good prepper will tell you that one of your most valuable assets is your local community. Absolutely. You can have as much stuff as you want stored in your basement. And if your neighbors and your community don't like you, well, you are in a pile of you know what. Yes, and you so are. so we have a community here that is very focused on what does everybody need and this is the way that god really designed us to have mm-hmm. a community and it's not so about the money. we have no it's not about the money it's about and freedom. so we would encourage dana tell everybody where the next event is going to be and how they can find you and how they can get involved if they want to well first of all you can go to wake up winchester and um wakeupwinchester.com wakeupwinchester.com you can find almost anything under wake up winchester and our next event is going to be at the rotan club right here in winchester it holds about 150 people uh i think we're going to have a little bit of a problem because we're getting a lot more it looks to me like we're going to have a lot more than 150 people especially after the first three events but that's at the rotan club that's on route 50 on poorhouse road That'll be October 14th from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. There'll be uh, different vendors that are out there talking about clean food and medical and vitamins and supplements and holistic medicine and school boards and 
uh, communications. One of the things that we found is extremely important is being able to communicate with each other. And uh, we have somebody that handles prepping and communications. And we have somebody that handles, like I was saying, school and what's going on with the school boards. We have somebody that handles media, like uh, uh, people like yourself, Amy, that are, are willing to jump in and, and help us out and be able to record so uh, things. We have somebody that puts all of this stuff together with cameras and video and, and audio and make sure that we can get this message out to people. It's extremely important. Our country is in a really bad spot right now. It's in a very, very, very bad. We've never been here before. We have not been here since 1776. And it's worse now because we could literally be taken out by a nuclear weapon and by people that are evil and really just don't care about other people. Mountain mm -hmm. Patriots and Wake Up Winchester was designed to bring people together, give them information, where they can go for information, how they can learn to work as a community and how they can take care of each other uh, by God, period. That's amazing. So if you're in uh, the Shenandoah Valley, if you live in Frederick County, if you live in Warren County, if you live in Morgan County over the border, uh, Berkeley Springs, mm -hmm. if you live in Clark County, go to wakeupwinchester.com right. and get connected with the Mountain Patriots today. Thank you so much, Dana, for being here with me. It's really oh, been a pleasure. So much, and uh, we'll have you back on soon. Make this sure is you look at wakeupwinchester.com. That's right. Wake up Winchester. This has been a wake up Winchester news flash. I'm signing off. Amy Shepherd. See you next time. Thank you, Amy.